What's up guys, GT Gamer here and welcome back to OCRP and yay, police impersonation episode. Mm, uh, kind of no, we had a problem recently where people were doing that a lot, so we've temporarily banned it. But, <laughs> the way around it, you can still own old police cars as long as they don't have the lights, the bells and the whistles. So, we're at uh, Albany Used Autos, I don't know, whatever this place is, and we are going to take this thing for a test drive, one of those 48 hour test drives, but first we got to get legal, so, uh, I think we can own a Rambo, what's that, that is the cage, uh, spotlight, yeah we can own that, that's the lights, get rid of them, uh, not sure what that was, uh, did you see anything move then, I didn't, I can't actually tell what that is, oh, Oh, oh. Ah, that's the inside lights. Uh, that is... Something back there. That's the side lights. Uh, God, I'm trying to figure out what some of these things are. Hang on. Oh, I can see something moving. That's the bars on the windows. That's fine. We can own them. That is the thing on top. That is... Please computer, get rid of that. Right, do the lights still work on the front? Uh, I need to get rid of the ram bar then. God damn it. Perfect. Now, no lights at all. <laughs> this thing's legal, we can take it for a text, text drive, test drive. And uh, let's see if the police have an issue with us driving a police car. Because they certainly shouldn't. I'm going to... Um, am I going to register this? The less reason I give them to, to mess with me, the better. So, I'm going to quickly register this, and then we're going to see if we can get into any shit on our test drive. Right, that's all registered and good. And uh, now I'm going to go up to the county, because I've got a feeling... Really? You jackass? God damn it. Um, yeah, now I'm going to go up to the county. And we're going to play with this thing for a bit, see how it handles, see how it drives, uh, do a quick speed test maybe, brakes and all that shit. And uh, we're going to see if we want to buy this thing. So uh, this should definitely be interesting. The police might have an issue with us driving a police car. Um, but there's nothing in the rules that says you can't own a Tahoe with no lights, as I can... The rear lights do something weird when you turn them on, but... Other than that, there is no lights on this car. Okay, it has a siren. Um, I'm just going to have to work around that. No cop, no stop. <laughs> Troy taught me that little saying. It's quite useful. So the interior on this ain't bad. It's a little bit too white and beige for my liking, and I can't apparently get rid of the police computer. Right, let's do a quick speed run. See how fast this thing can go. 1500. Oh god, it's actually pretty quick. Good job of four wheel drive in the snow. <laughs> that could come in useful. So yeah, about 125, 130. Not bad, not too shabby. Brake test. Pretty decent. Pretty decent indeed. Suspension test. Gotta do a suspension test real quick. <laughs> Not too bad, not too bad. Nobody saw that. Move. I'm happy with that. Right. Let's go up into the county. There's a fair few cops on, so... Uh, they might have something to say to us. We might just drive past it. I don't know. We'll have to see. They're probably going to know, though, that this shouldn't be on the road that none of their cops are driving a Tahoe. But... <laughs> they're less likely to stop a Tahoe if they think there's another cop driving it. Which gives me the idea that we can go a bit faster than anyone else. Which means we might get a speeding ticket. I don't know, we'll have to wait and see. Right, let's take a left up here. Grip's good. I didn't even check then. I didn't stop. That's not good. I meant to stop at a stop sign. God, these trucks are slow. Overtake him. 
Alright, let's go up panorama a little bit. Doing 80 miles an hour. I just want to see if they're, how, how quickly they pick up on the fact that there is a sieve driving a Tahoe. Oh, God, trucks. That's a cop. I was just doing well over 100. Oh, fuck, I got away with that. I was doing like 130 down there and he was just like, no, that's, that's got to be another cop in that uh, Tahoe. Nope. <laughs> Don't. Motherfucker. God, I love these AI. Do you know what I'm going to do? <laughs> I'm going to buy a scratch card. Let's see if I get lucky, eh? You never know. Sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. Uh, I want a scratch-off ticket. Uh, let's go for five of them. They're only a buck. And I've got 1.95 million scratch-off ticket. Use. Nope. Lost. Scratch off ticket. Use. I've never won. I've never ever won. Use. Nope. <laughs> Still lost. And two more. Use. Nope. And. Use. God damn it. Ah. That's. That's pretty pointless. And like any good citizen, I'm going to throw my used scratch-off tickets on the floor. All six of them, even though I only bought just bought five, you know. There you go. And back in the car. Overall, this is uh, shaping up to be a good car. I like it. That's a lot of high beams. Right, we're on we're on 68. That's a bit of a hot spot for cops. So I've got to be a little more careful. We got 61 gas, so not too shabby. There's a cop car. Nah. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. I'm surprised they ain't questioning it yet. Um, you know what, while I'm here, I am going to pop into the bank. Just put some money away. 150,000 I'm going to put away. So deposit 150000. There you go. 1.95 million. I can almost buy a Zentorno or an X80. And I think I can buy most planes. I know, I do want to do some plane shit. Oop, sliding. Let's go back along here. Nope, no fucks given. None at all. God love it. And since we got this car for a few days, because it's a pretty long test ride, let's go change our clothes. That's an idea. I haven't had a new outfit in a while. I think Rich Bastard needs an upgrade. This is a uh, ped menu. It's actually pretty cool. That's not what I wanted to click. That's all my peds. Right, I want to create ped. All we really want to change is torso. So, torso 1 is on 86. Um, that's pretty decent. I'd have to get a t-shirt, though. That, <laughs> yeah, that, that's what we want. Ooh. That almost doesn't show through. There'll be one somewhere. Tool belt. <laughs> Gotta love it. I think we got our new top. Right, we need something more formal to go with that. Pants, let's go. I don't know, I want something decent but not too standout-ish. What if we just went something like this, maybe? I like that. Let's change our shoes as well while we're here. Uh, let's go for black. Boom! That is going to be, before I forget, 
Richard Bastard number two. Rename Richard Bastard two. Nailed it. I actually quite like that. That's quite a good little outfit. Right, make sure my car's okay. Beep boop, unlock it. We won't want to have this car stolen, would we? Ooh! Oh, that is the closest I've ever got to another car. Like, officially, that was ridiculous. Alright, let's go back along here. And maybe test out in the hills. There's another cop car there. Let's get some gas before we go too far away. Let's pop the nozzle in the hole there. This is going to be quite expensive. The cop's like, hmm. Do I know you? You just gonna stare at me, dude? Seventy-eight percent full, eighty, eighty-five. There it is. Hey, uh, how's it going, bud? Hey, how's it going, officer? Good, thanks. Uh, nice. Where you get this uh, vehicle from? Oh, it's second hand, dude. It used to be a police uh, police car. It used to be a police car? Yeah. You can buy them. I'm uh, test driving it at the moment. Alright, can I just take a quick look? I mean, yeah, sure, but I'm pretty sure your force has some, so you well, know what this they look is like. Well, no, yeah, apparently this is pretty new. This is, uh... There she is, and all What's her resplendent glory. In there? She's what? What's up with the computer in there? Got like a system in there. What's up with that? Oh, it's been wiped. It's not connected to anything. It's just for um, show. It takes it takes a lot more to re uh, remove that. So that's something I'll do once I finalise the purchase. It's checking if it's registered. Gotta love it. Oh, I hear sirens. And I see flashing, basically, backups on the way. I mean, there's nothing illegal about this. At all. Said you wiped it and all that? Yeah, it's not. It's got um, just a basic uh, Indos operating system. Copyright. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, it's backup number one. I'm going for the white theme today. <laughs> uh, I guess the uh, one thing, another. So you said you bought it; it's not decommissioned, right? Yeah, it was um, from Albany Auto, staying in the city. Do you have those insurance papers and all that? Can I see them? Yeah, they're in. Let me get them for you. Yeah. What's your name, by the way? My name's Richard. Richard Bastard? You know it. Alright. Grabs. Insurance. Nope, that's not how you spent insurance. Papers. There you go. Even went through the effort again, it registered before I brought it out. I think. <laughs> Always like to double check. Here comes three and four. <laughs> God, I saw they're trying to felony stop me. Jesus. Oh, your hood's kind of popping there. How's it going? Gonna sit back in the car. So. And now I can't hear them. That makes perfect right, fucking sense. Alright, do you want to have a chat with him? 
Uh, Richard Bastard. You probably know him. <laughs> Alex hates yeah. Richard Bastard. Hey, how you doing, Mr. Bastard? Yeah, I am. I'm uh, Trooper Bailey, San Andreas Highway Patrol. How are you this evening? Nah, I'm not bad, man. What about yourself? Not bad, not bad. Alright, so uh, as the deputy, uh, sorry, yeah, as the deputy um, informed you, the reason for the stop they pulled you over for uh, was because the, the vehicle um, hit. <laughs> it's very spacious <laughs> back there, enjoy the leather seats. They used to be heated, but that was removed. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, I tripped. It's an exempt. It's exempt as well. It's an exempt plate as well. Um, so. Yeah, so they uh, they identified the reason for the start was uh, because the vehicle resembles a police vehicle. Um, now we are aware that the uh, the governing bodies of San Andreas have recently changed the law to permit um, retired police vehicles. Obviously, on the basis that it follows all regulations, such as there's no memorabilia inside, um, all police equipment. Basically doesn't represent a police vehicle. However, um, these vehicles have not yet reached the dealership. Um, I did see this vehicle down at Mission Row earlier today. Um, so that's why uh, that's why they've um, called us up here. So, but at this time, that's 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 just what's going on at this time. Obviously, they're hand they're, they're dealing with this as an impersonating a police officer. Uh, I made sure that all the lights and everything was removed, and the system inside doesn't have. Um, it's been wiped basically, and my own operating system installed. You can't do anything with it, and the RAM bar obviously has I been mean, removed. Yeah, I mean the problem is, is you still got the cage in the middle there, and the racks in the back, uh, as well as the uh, the spotlight here on the front. Yeah, I haven't. The front I'm, spotlight is against the law in San Andreas. Yeah, as I was saying to the officer, I haven't finalised purchase yet, I'm just taking it for a test drive. So, once I do finalise that purchase, all Let's those things will be sorted. In case something happens. <laughs> in case something okay. happens. Okay, alright, well, this, I, I, like I said, this is a my <laughs> stop. Um, so, at the office, uh, sorry, it's at the deputy's decision as to how he wants to handle this. Um, but, just know that at Time, you shouldn't be on the road in this vehicle, mainly because your registration plates identify that you're a San Andreas exempt. Uh, so if it's if you're taking a test drive, obviously you should have a um, a sort of they're, they're basically their their temporary plates. Right. Just okay. To, uh, just to the display, like I say, because at the minute you're you're basically saying that you're exempt from um, the San Andreas registration. And that you're a government vehicle, which could obviously confuse other drivers. Yeah, this has been registered. It just the um, the plate without the exempt tags on it hasn't arrived yet because I haven't bought the vehicle yet. But as soon as I do, then I'll make sure to put that on and remove the spotlight and cage and everything. Okay. Um, the other thing I noticed as well when you're standing outside of your vehicle is that you you have um you have a belt on. I have a what? Uh, which again, you, you you have a belt on basically that that is similar to our duty belts that we wear. Uh, do I? I mean, uh, through my eyes, you do. Yeah. Uh, I can't see that. Yeah, is that I just a problem with my end? I don't see it. That's probably on your end. Yeah, it's probably okay. just your end. He, he's all kosher. His person's all kosher. You are right, so... Yeah, I'm just wearing my white top okay. and jogger butters. Jogger butters? <laughs> yeah, but I must buttons. have a smear on my glasses or something. Yeah, that would make sense. Sorry about that, I was having hearing problems. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. Yeah, I, I figured, uh, you know, sometimes our, our ear, my ears like to act up sometimes, so... Yeah, I think something in my ear might be dying. By what I mean, what I mean by that is that my hard yeah, drive's yeah, dying. Yeah, there. I know how that goes. Ugh, it's a bugger. All right, Richard. Here's what I'm gonna do for you. Uh, I want you to drive this vehicle home tonight. I don't want to see it back out on the road until you have 
everything removed from it. The computer, the spotlight, the radar, the cage in the back, everything, all right? Okay. If I see it back out on the road with this stuff still on it, what's going to happen is I'm going to pull you over and I'm going to have the vehicle impounded, okay? Okay. That, yeah, that makes sense. All right. So like I said, just bring it home, get the stuff removed. Once it's all removed, you can drive back out. But again, if I see the stuff back on it and I uh, see you driving around with it, like I said, it's going to be impounded, okay? Okay. That makes sense. I appreciate that, officer. <laughs> All right, no you're free to leave. Have yourself a, uh, yourself a nice night. You too. All right, let's hold them to yeah, that. Okay. <laughs> nah, I'm actually going to get... Um, what do I want? Windows. I want to put the windows up. <laughs> Gotta love that. Police horn. Just back out carefully. Let them go first. So, I am going to go and get all my stuff removed. <laughs> um, best place to do that would be the customs in the city, because i got to change the plate as well. I can't do that for our menu. Once I've done that, I should be okay, so I'm going to try them. I'm going to remove everything they said, and try that out again. And, um, yeah, my hard drive is dying. That's why, unless I edited it out, the game froze for a second before my audio died. Because, I don't know what it is, one of my hard drives I think is dying, that cop's on the wrong side of the road. What the fuck are you doing? Ah. Okay, desync I guess. I think he just 10 0 Which is good. Right, I'm going to go and get all my stuff removed and then I'm going to come back up to the county and uh, see if the cops pull me over again for just to check, obviously. Guarantee they will. In fact, I'm almost certain of it. I guarantee I'll remove all the stuff and then they'll pull me over and check everything. They can't just take my word on it. Not like I'm a wanted felon. Well, I'm not wanted, but not like I'm a massive felon or anything who's known by every cop in the state. I genuinely, I think every cop in the state, in OCRP, knows Rich Bastard. If they've not directly, in, like, contacted him, they know of Rich Bastard. Cops I've never even heard of before have pulled me over and it's like, yep, there's Rich Bastard again. That's Rich Bastard, that's the guy we was told about. I even had one just walk up to him and go, is that you, Richard? <laughs> I was like, no, definitely not. Okay, so I've removed as much as I can. The SA plate, I can't do anything about. And the computer, I can't do anything about. The rest of it is fine. I'm just going to have to convey to the cops somehow that I can't remove them. Um, okay, I think I might have a good excuse. Maybe. I've already explained the plate away. The computer, I'm, I've got an excuse, I think. So I'm gonna hit up Sandy Shores. Might even go drinking in the Ojack. <laughs> Cause why not? Celebrate my nice new car, which I'm probably gonna buy. Oh. Uh. This is totally legal, this is totally legal. Um, what the hell is happening here? I feel I should say something. Because I saw what happened, kind of. Um... Are 
I genuinely don't know what happened. There's a dead coyote there. <laughs> Just walk up to this car. Hey, officer. Um, sir? Uh, what's going on here? Because I think I might be a witness, but I'm not really sure. Uh, we're currently dealing with a uh, road traffic accident, sir. Right, because I was behind that guy uh, when I was going down to the city to change my car. And he was in front of me, he veered left, like sort of across here by the junction. And then he stopped and bounced a little bit, if you know what I mean. And his car rolled off to the side of the road, so I thought if he was just pulling over or something. I don't know what happened to him, though. Who's that stringer? Okay, so let me go ahead and jot this down there. Can I have your name? Yeah, it's Richard Bastard. <laughs> Alright, okay, so thank you very much. Uh, just go ahead and tell me what you saw again, just so I can actually get it down in no this time. So this cop over there was at the scene where I was earlier, where I got pulled over. And he left, and I left behind him. I was following him uh, along here uh, eastbound. And his car started veering left as if he was going to take that junction over by there. And he went past the junction and just kept veering left into oncoming traffic. And when the locals swerved to avoid him, his car, like, juddered, bounced a little bit. He might have hit some desync on the road. And then it just rolled to a stop in the verge. I didn't really think much of it. I thought he was just pulling over. It was odd, definitely, but... Oh, okay, sir. Not enough to warrant me to ask him if he was okay or anything. Were there any other vehicles on the road at the time? Uh, as I said, there was a local that was coming towards him that swerved to avoid him. I don't think they contacted each other, though. But then, as I, as I said, everything seemed to, like, bounce and judder halfway through the incident, so... I can't really say for sure. In my eyes, there was nothing, but... <laughs> that's just my perspective. Yeah, I can I can appreciate that, sir. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and to the officer as and when he's medically clear and we'll put your sight inside and we'll figure out what happened. Uh, do I... Do you have a number I can contact you if you're needed again? Uh, yeah, sure. It's 37358. 37358, wonderful. Okay, sir. Uh, at this time, you're, uh, you're free to go ahead and clear off. We're gonna get the uh, medics in here every moment, so uh, get him checked over and see what they have to say. Okay, yeah, I saw the scene and I just thought it was the same car that I saw earlier, so I thought I'd better say something. Right, have a... uh, uh, I just said that I saw the scene as I was going up Panorama, and I, I realised it was the same car I was behind earlier, so I thought I'd better stop and say something. Thank you very much, we appreciate it. Any and all information is uh, is helpful with things like this. Okay. Right, um, feel free to contact me if you need anything else. And you guys have a great day. Absolutely. You too, sir. Stay safe. Uh, I'll be respectful. Which is rare for rich bastard. Uh, uh, Walk on this side of the road. And this is definitely a case of do as I say, not as I do. Never squeeze between two Arctic trucks like this. Like seriously, this is 100% dangerous. Never ever do this. Right, like fuck am I waiting in this traffic jam. And since I know the road's clear in both directions, I can simply do that. God damn you AI. Right, well, clearly they're busy, so that means I can kind of race around a little bit. That's how you do it. Like, genuine true story, never bought a scratch card in my life. Bought five today, in real life. 
Now in game, I've bought another bunch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. One of these has to be a winner. One. Just one. Nope. <laughs> nope. This is going to take a while. Nope. Yay! I won! I won two dollars. <laughs> Which means I'm only down... to 19. And I've still got six left to do. Nope. Nope. Ah, uh, these are so predictable I know before I'm going to do it. Nope. Nailed it. <laughs> oh. Route 68 is back open. Use. Nope. So, 1 in 21 chance of winning. That's what I work it out to. Going to throw my used tickets. Uh, remove all 15 of them. Let's not pick them back up. Someone else can have them. They're my treat. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's uh, continue our little test drive here. Yeah, overall I do quite like this car. I'm not sure if it's really my style though. I don't know. The ride's a bit... meh. Rich Bastard likes his exotics. And really, I only liked this because it was old police car. And now I've taken all the things off it. It doesn't feel like a police car anymore. It just feels like another car. I don't know. It's, I've, I've kind of gone off it a little bit now. There's the stringer. <laughs> just on him. Just, just because why not? What the fuck? Uh. Uh. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck was that? I'm talking. <laughs> I don't even know what I, I just saw then. I want to turn around and see that shit again. That was fucked up. <laughs> Oh, that was close. I just want to see if he's still doing it. <laughs> he was mimicking that, that AI cyclist. He's doing it again. What the fuck? <laughs> Cops are clearly fucking bored. That is great. That's one of the best things I've ever seen. And that charger pulled out after me. Oh, really? You're going to pull me over because that officer was doing some stupid shit? Ah, oh, here it is. Alright, I get it. Oh my god, you're kidding me, right? And there was me thinking he was responding to me doing some jank shit. God, he's driving careful in the snow. <laughs> Credit where it's due, officer. Maybe try buying a Tahoe. Or an Explorer, they're four wheel drive. Ah, oh, fuck. Slow right down. Fuck. I don't even know where he was. What the f fuck? Where's that? <laughs> what? Okay. Cars are jumping and doing crazy shit. One of us has really bad internet right now. <laughs> Uh, I suppose I should do the polite thing. Engine off. Windows down. I love the way it honks the siren. 
Every time I go back in a menu it honks the siren. He's taking quite a while, which makes me think he's waiting for backup. Um, and of course the stringer to turn up on scene. That would be welcome. <laughs> Slow day for stringing. Who is it? I want to know who it is. Hey, how's it going, officer? Sorry, super trooper. <laughs> they hey, don't I, like that. Hey, how you doing, sir? It's uh, Trooper Baby 7 Drive Highway Patrol. How can I help you today, uh, Trooper Bailey? Highway Patrol. Super uh, trooper. I'll, I'll let you take a wild guess as to why I might be stopping you. Um. Because this is an ex police car. Okay, so reason for the stop is uh, I got you clocked at 111 miles per hour as you pass Sandy Shore's uh, exit. I was staged just on the exit there. Oh, are uh, you sure that was me? Not another, maybe a cop responding to something in a similar Absolutely car? Absolutely positive. Because I've been doing like. Positive. I've been doing like. 50 miles an hour all the way, I'm pretty sure. Give or take a few miles an hour here and there. I caught up, still going. Uh, well, when I got you on a final clock, it was at 80. 80 sounds a lot more reasonable. If we keep lowering this... Can I hear a 75? I'll take 75. 75, 75, come on. Going once, going twice. 60 miles an hour, there you go. Hear me? Yeah, but sorry I, about uh, that. I was I'm slowly losing connection with reality. It's okay. So as we were saying, I was doing what thirty uh, sixty miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> no, as we were saying, I said, have you got your license registration proof? Uh, yeah, sure. Here you go. My name's uh, Buster Nut. No, my name's Richard Bastard. Sorry, I was playing with my friend Buster earlier. We <laughs> were switching names. It's a okay. weird game you play. <laughs> Alright, alright, Mr. How Bastard. the fuck you been from style? earlier? Alright. Uh, Stopped you up in the uh, county? Yeah, I did all the things he suggested. I removed the cage, spotlight, replaced everything with dummies. Including the driver, apparently. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Alright. <laughs> uh, One second, bear with me. That's the first time so, uh, in a long time I've used the, the wing. Sure everything's all and we'll deal with it, okay? Yeah, I'm a highly respected citizen. I'm sure he'll come back clean. <laughs> Lol. Hopefully. How's it going, Dave? How's it going, Alex? Hey, Al. Yeah, clocked him at, um... Uh, well, so... God damn it, I can't hear them now. It's interesting how the one charger has red lights and the other doesn't. One's all blues, one's red and blue. Don't know what that's about. It makes for some cool ambience though. Especially in the snow. 111. Ooh. I don't know what the speed limit by there was. I think it's 65? 75, 85, 95, 105. I was less than 50 over, I think. Oh, I'm not sure though. If it was more than 50 and he doesn't knock it down, I'm losing my license instantly. Even though I currently have zero points, it's still bugging me as well how I have that extra $2 in my bank account. I'm going to have to sort that out. It's, it's an OCD thing. I don't even know how it happened, but it's driving me bonkers. Uh, worried a little bit? Um. Don't code five me. Do not proudly stop me. I will throw that bunny rabbit at you. I don't. I, I definitely don't have a warrant, do I? Knowing my luck. Uh, warrant? No. Um. Hey, okay, so I got a lot of bad crimes. But nothing too bad. Right here he comes. So it's not too bad news if he's not code five in me. If he's not priority stopping me.
Just hey, out of Tabasa, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear. You. Just out of curiosity, what was the speed limit back there? Sixty-five, right? Correct. Right. Okay. Um. Alrighty, okay, so it's gonna be a citation, Mr. Bastard, okay? Oh, uh, sorry, here's your stuff back. Appreciate that. Yeah, it's gonna be a citation. What I've done for you is I'm doing it on the average, okay, so I've worked it in between. So it's gonna be a citation for speaking um, at 90 miles per hour. So okay. I've got your first clock at 11 and a second clock at uh, 90. Uh, the second clock at 80. So I've done it as 90. So it's 25 over, right? 25 over the limit. Okay. That's not too bad. Um, with that, it's going to be a $3,000 fine. Um, and will be four points to your license. Right, okay. All the, uh, all the information's on the ticket here. All of my details, etc. How you pay the ticket. Um, it is immediate enforcement, um, which means the four points will go on straight away. So I just need a signature from you on the there bottom it here. Is. It's not an admission of guilt. It's just to say that you received the citation and you're going to pay the fine. Um, okay, here you go. Thank you very much. So that copy is yours, and these are mine. The license back. Bear with me while I just get the office to send you the, uh... It's a shame I replaced this computer with a dummy, otherwise I could have paid my ticket on there. <laughs> Guess he didn't like that joke. Uh... Um... Um, and then, then, not that, of all things, oh shit, hit there. Alright, um, did you receive that fine? I did indeed, let me just work out how to pay it on this uh, new app I got. Uh, not, no, I guess I'll have to figure that out later. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, man. Well, yeah. Um, obviously, if you Is fail it? to pay it, then uh, a warrant, well, a court summons will be issued for you. I'm just pressing but other buttons. Other than that, um, <laughs> good to go just as soon as I get back to my uh, cruiser and shut off my lights. Okay? Okay. Careful pulling out. Use the shoulder to build up some speed. Obviously, icy and the rocks are slippy. Okay, I will. Have a uh, great day, officer. Um, Man, but more importantly, just uh, just slow it down, just because of these conditions, they're treacherous. Yeah, I will. Awesome. All right, man. You have a good day. You too. Okay. Um. Oh, helps when your engine's on. Could that be why the thing wasn't working? I don't see why, but oh, let's not leap out a siren. Okay, apparently my tickets don't work. Oh well. I've also made up my mind. I, I don't want to buy this vehicle. Maybe a different police vehicle I can get my hands on. Yeah, is this taking the magic away, not it not being a police vehicle anymore? I'd rather spend my money on, say, like, an old Ferrari or something. Haha, <laughs> I see what that cop is doing, man. Hoping I'd go speeding off into the sunset so you could pull me over again. Yeah, well, fuck you, I'm the legally undertaker. You know what? Let's get reckless. There you go. Come stop me, motherfucker. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna go return this vehicle back to the, uh... To the dealership now. It's a shame. It is a nice car, it's just, it's not really my style now. I've taken all the bits, the, the bells and whistles off. Oh well. <laughs> no cop, no stop. <clears throat> Throat. I thought that was a cop then. <laughs> anyway guys, that's going to do it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you come back for the next episode and I will see you then. Peace out guys.